listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. A lot of the conversation that you see when it comes to black men and black women, most of the time men complain that women hate accountability. It's almost like a, a dirty word. It's like Mufasa. Women hate accountability. So the question is, why do you think either you in the past you currently, mm -hmm. your friends, mm -hmm. women you know, your mom, your sisters. Why do women evade or tend to evade accountability? So it's everybody's fault but mine. It's a control thing. And it's a it's a it's a thing of like like when you want us to take accountability, it comes off as an attack. So we're forced to like put up a defense. I've learned to like take accountability for myself. Cause I mean, if you're wrong, you're wrong, and what's gonna happen? Like, but the accountability thing, I just feel like again, once you feeling attacked, you gonna wanna, you feel me? Like, put up that shield, like, nah, like, bro, chill. But it, like, Having to take accountability, it's, it don't feel like a safe place. It don't feel like you're on our side. It feels like an attack. That's how I feel like what taking accountability is. Nobody wants to be wrong at the end of the day because being wrong is wrong and nobody wants to be wrong. But at the end of the day, everybody can be wrong and it's okay. Just you know, it's just the L you got to just roll with. It ain't like, what's going to happen to you? Personally, though, um, I don't mind taking accountability. It don't phase me. I'm cool. I'm cool. If I was wrong, I'm cool with it. I'll take that. I'm, I'm woman enough to admit that. My bad, bro. You were right. I was wrong. I'm going to work on that. I'll fix it. I'm. A, you feel me? Like... But usually it don't feel good, but it don't feel like nothing to me no more because it's like you have to be an adult about shit. You got to be real about it. Like, girl, you wrong for that. You feel me? So it don't feel good to be wrong. Do you think that might be part of the reason why black men don't feel loved by black women? Because we don't take accountability? Because we can't tell y'all shit. That actually, can't nobody tell y'all shit these that, days. That's actually part of it, though. Like, I get what... No, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I do get where y'all be coming from. Like, I completely get where y'all coming from because I'm very, like, empathetic. Like, I can see how you would perceive this as, like, damn. Like, you know, you have to step outside of yourself and really look at it, look at shit in a different perspective. So I, I can understand why y'all feel the way y'all feel towards us sometimes. We don't want to take accountability because we feel attacked. Because cause I feel like, like I said earlier, it has a lot to do with our value in the world and our value to y'all. If we already feel small, we already feel small. So now we're wrong too. Like we already like don't have much to, you get what I'm saying? So I, I don't know if it's you that told me this or if I read it somewhere, but then I, I, it was like, what does a man have to gain from being married? Because I never thought about that. I've never in my life thought about that until it was brought to my attention. 
Like, what does a man have to gain from being married? And I had to think about the shit, too, because most of the time when you're watching these little shows on TV, it's always the man paying for the stuff or like he has to put he has to get on one knee and propose and he has to pay for everything. And he has to, like, take you on the honeymoon and carry you over the threshold and, and all this type of shit. And like you're you have his kids and stuff like that and it's usually the woman who's like so happy oh i got the ring and dress shopping and all this type of stuff and it's usually the dude on on the fence chilling letting her do everything and like like i never thought about that and it just made me wonder like damn like what do we really mean to y'all so it's a lot of like inner feelings on like if we even really mean anything to y'all because we're usually the ones filing for divorce. We're usually the ones getting cheated on. So, I mean. What is a man's primary role in the home? Provide and protect. That's how I see it. I don't know no other role he could have. You're a man and I feel like at the end of the day, regardless of how we feel about all this stuff, men should play their role just as much as women. That's my next question. What is a woman's primary role in the home? In the home, taking care of the household and doing her part or whatever her man wants or needs her to do. To keep everything together, to keep the relationship together, the family and all that stuff. Not saying that it's solely her responsibility because he, of course, should, you know, be involved in all that as well. But, you know, protect and provide. Who do you call to kill all the spiders? Him. So with that being said, if he's on his job, a woman should submit to him 100 percent. Uh, I mean, I don't got no problem with submitting, but as long as I feel like the submit thing should like be I don't know I don't, I don't want y'all to hate me for saying this now but I feel like a submiss like if you want a woman to be submissive I personally feel like you have to earn that so because I don't see a lot of like goofy ass niggas have these females that just lay down and just give them everything that don't even deserve it. And it's just like, what are you pouring in that you should be receiving all these wonderful, you get what I'm saying? Things. Should men have that same mindset? But there's never a thing about men being submissive. That's not a thing. No, I'm saying like if because what you're saying is submiss submission is conditional, right? You have to do these things. I personally feel like, yes, it should be conditional because some some men don't deserve submissive women. Because at the end of the day, like you have to think about what kind of man you have, like. It's a lot of controlling men. It's a lot of men who are insecure. But then why are you with him? Exactly. But that's my point. If you're with him, you should be able to submit to him 100%. I right? mean, if that's what she if that's what she wants, if that's her cup of tea then Cuz part of part of the frustration with men and that's why I asked you some of those questions at the beginning. Men are saying you guys are picking the wrong niggas mm -hmm. and then penalizing other niggas and niggas in general and saying that we don't deserve submission. You have to earn submission. So men are saying, why don't you pick niggas who are worthy of submission off top? Because you're submitting. If you're with a man, you're submitting to him anyway. 
who are worthy of submission. I mean, because mm-hmm. you're making it conditional. I feel like you have to grow to that point, though. But like, I'm you don't like, just off the bat just be like, yeah, babe, of course, babe, sure, babe. It's but, not but like you, that. You expect that from men, though. You expect, no. no, but what I'm saying is the stuff that men are supposed to do, provide and protect, mm-hmm. you expect that off top. And the things you're supposed to do, like submit and care and nurture, I have to earn that. Why is no, that? No, 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 no. Care and nurture, no, because... But submission is part of that. Nah, because... For men, it is. I feel like, submiss- sub- be- like being submissive is just... Submitting to somebody's authority. Of course, yeah. But, like, caring and nurturing is not... I feel like that's already in our nature to be there anyway so that's beside i feel like submission is depending on who you are or if you're capable of being submissive no part of caring and nurturing a man is submitting to him because for us our ego is everything and we interpret love through respect so like am i your king yes or no that's what submission is about and are you going to treat me like i'm a king and i run things but again, part of the issue is women can say, until you do this, 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 and this, you're not going to get this. But men can't say that. I can't say, until you do this, 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 and this, I'm not going to take you on a date, or I ain't going to give you no money, or I ain't going to do this, or oh, I ain't going to do that. I see what you're saying. Exactly. So is it right that women get to make their femininity conditional, but they expect men's masculinity to be initial. Hmm, it's not fair. Now that you put it like that. But. Y'all's ego. Plays a big role in. How. A woman submits to you. Because ego is like. Okay, so how do I put it like this? Like, the male ego is like you penis size, how much money you got, status, all that falls in line with your ego. And I feel like if it's it's dudes that think like they that nigga, so they should receive that off top. Even if you ain't shit, even if you're rude as hell, even if you just like are disrespectful and all that stuff, you just think a female should just bow down to you and stuff like that. And it it can't be like that. It should. It should. Because I think every nigga should be like that, right? And the type of and caliber of woman that you can get to submit to you validates whether you actually are that nigga. Okay, I see your point. I see your point. So if you think you that nigga and you get a female that thinks she that bitch and y'all come together, it ain't going to... No, 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 no. Because I don't don't feel like that's... mm, I feel like there's no balance because there's always going to be one who wants to one up the other who wants to one up the other in the relationship. And there's nobody that's ever going to want to listen and and like want to like, like sit your ass down and just listen to what I have to say. And and like, let's go with this plan and all this stuff. Who like, should who should lead a relationship? Who should lead both of them equally? I feel like a man should value a woman's opinion just as much as a woman should value a man's opinion. But the thing is. It's stuck in this way that a man runs shit. Let me ask you this. Do kings rule the kingdom with a queen or does the king rule and have a queen? Who has other jobs? Does the king and queen rule a kingdom together or does the king rule and the queen has her role in his kingdom? How does that work? I feel like they should both run it. I feel like they should both. Who's the leader is is the question. Who's the leader? I mean, when you like the way you put in it. In that. 
type of scenario, it would be the man. It doesn't seem like you believe that. Huh? It doesn't seem like no, you believe that. No, I mean, that. that's why I said that, like, I go off historical, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was. So it's hard to break out of that today, being that that's how shit was, like, made to be coming up. It was usually a man in charge. It was usually a man running things. You feel me? So, but now women want to run things with us. Exactly. But what's the problem? Does that work? What's the problem? Does that work? You said, does it work? Why wouldn't it? Have you seen a company with two CEOs? Have you seen a football team with two quarterbacks at the same time? That's not the same. It is. Roles and responsibilities are a thing. But the difference is part of why there is this separation is that <clears throat> it's hard for black men to be men anymore because they have another man in the house. And I see, I see what you're saying on that. And that's what I was saying like earlier. But you're going back on that now. Hmm? You're going back on that. I'm not going back. Like, you right, because that's what I'm saying. It's always that competition. Like, one trying to one-up the other or, you know, we constantly have to prove our value to y'all. Like, yes, like, my word means something. Mm -hmm. But you don't, you shouldn't have the last word. Not the, nobody said the last word. Like but that's, the last that's what I mean by a leader. Like in, 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 in an ideal black household, who should have the last word? Okay, but look though, personally, I don't want to be with a man who don't know what he's doing or don't know where he's going or don't know what he want to do. Those men shouldn't exist to you though. Ex exactly. So I'm not talking about that man. I'm talking about the man that you're with. The man that I'm with. Yeah, the man that you're with should be somebody you respect, right? Of course. It should be somebody that you understand his level of intellect, his decision exactly. making. Exactly, of course. So why is it a problem to submit to the man that you're with? Because the problem is a lot of women choose men, choose men, and then they don't want to submit to the man they chose. So is it that you don't trust your decision making? Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. No. But I'm only <laughs> no I'm only saying no because like <laughs> Can we pause it? I got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> and I told other women this, if you aren't willing to submit to a man or if you're going to make him jump through hoops first, mm -hmm. it means you don't trust him and it means you shouldn't be with him. But if you're with a man, you should trust him enough to submit to his authority and let him be a man. Let him be a king. Let him be a god. All this shit we tell black men. Because if you stay with him, but challenge his authority at every, every turn, turn, that's not love. That's yeah. not how we receive love. Okay. All right. So next question. 